Hey everyone, it's Susie doing Blooming Art this month again. This time we're gonna make a bird feeder out of a can, okay? So it'll end up looking kind of like this. It depends on how many um, sticks that you wanna use. Uh, today, making mine, I'm just gonna use one, but I used three last time. So the supplies that you will need However many sticks you want to use for the perch, that's what your birds are going to stand on. So you need to have at least one stick. You need a can with a lid completely washed out. Um, be very careful. You might want to have a parent or a guardian or somebody to do that. That way the edges don't cut you. You will need some scissors, twine, something to bend your lid with and a hot a hot glue gun with maybe some extra glue sticks because we're gonna it's gonna take a little bit of gluing okay so the first thing you want to do is to bend your lid in half okay what I kind of do is just kind of get it started and then use these to kind of help pinch it down a little bit more. And like I said, it's tricky, so make sure you have help. I don't want anybody getting cut. Cans are definitely sharp. Okay, so once you kind of get that folded over, you can just kind of squeeze that all together. Now, what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna take that sharp end and you're gonna stick it into your can like this, okay? Now, this is where your first part of hot glue comes in. You need to put some glue down here at the bottom and you just make a strip, which I don't think I have enough in there to get it going here and there we go okay and you're gonna place this in there like that and once it's in you can kind of put a little bit more in there just to seal those sharp edges we don't want any any birdies hurting themselves on the can Okay, so then you want to give that a moment to go ahead and completely dry before you start working with it. Because the next step is to wrap the entire can in twine or you can use yarn, you can use any type of string that you might have, rope, it's up to you. You can also decorate it. If you want to hot glue a whole bunch of rocks on the outside or even more little twigs all the way around. That would be kind of neat too. Since this will be your bottom to your, to your feeder, see? Now the flat part is there in the middle that's not sharp at all. I'm gonna go ahead and start my twine on the bottom. And all I'm gonna do is just tie a little knot in it just, just to give it a spot to stay. Because this is gonna take a bit. So, What you're gonna do is you're just gonna start going around the can, okay? And my advice is to make sure you get it to kind of stick on there. If you need to put a little bit of hot glue to get that first strands to stay, you might have to, because as you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble with that but once that once that stays you should be fine so 
Now I'm just going to try to make it as even as possible and just wrap it around. Okay, when you get it completely wrapped and try to make it be tight in there, you know, go ahead and cut it off. And what I would suggest is slipping, you know, making that last row a little bit more loose so you can slip it through there. This is the bottom. And then taking this piece, putting some hot glue along here. Be careful, it's hot. All right. So we'll let that cool and dry for just a minute so we're done with those now we're going to have to figure out how can we attach it to our stick and i think this end would make a a more neat bird perch than just that end so i'm going to try to figure out how do i do that so What I'm gonna do is try to, first of all, hot glue it. And if you're, you're not that you first tied, if it's trying to come undone like mine just was, put some hot glue on it and stick it in. So you're going to need some long strands. First we need to figure out, like I said, how to attach it. So we're going to need at least two about the same length. These might be a little long, but I'd rather have a little too much than not enough. So, and since my stick wants to kind of lay like that, I'm going to try to attach it here on the top. All right, and make sure your, your flat part is down here at the bottom. You'll have to hold it there for just... I don't know, 30 seconds, a minute. I'm not sure how long to hold it, I guess, until it's it stays put. Just put a little bit of pressure on it. It'll help it out. See, it's already gluing. So now I'm gonna take one of my pieces try to balance it. Make sure you get it on there good for the double knot. You can even triple knot it. And then 
it off your pieces. I leave just a little bit so I can hot glue those down just to help reinforce it. I put a little bit on my knot. dropped my other one. So this one I'm just going to put towards the back. Do the same thing. Just tie a really good good knot in there. However way, you know, you know how to make a knot. It'll work. We've secured it. Now we're going to have to figure out how are we going to hang it. So, with this one, since I had multiple sticks, I had to do three. But I think on this one, we probably can just do. That's a tricky one. I think we need at least two because I don't think that putting one right in the middle is gonna, it's not gonna balance very well. So we'll try to cut a couple that are about the same length. Okay, so just like we tied the knot this time, I'm gonna come all the way up with it. And I'm gonna make a knot up here at the top. The same with this one. If you have a better way to attach them, or maybe a parent or brother and sister, someone has a better way, do whatever way you want. I'm just showing you the way that I do it. Um, Cause yeah, it's definitely fine if you wanna change things about it. But the tricky part is when you're using two different you got to kind of have them at the same height. All right, well, we don't need all of this. part towards the bottom because now I'm going to hot glue that too so If you want, you can put a little bit of glue over your knot to try to get it to stay. And if you're wondering why I have the aluminum foil, if you've never used a hot glue gun, the glue will drip out, so you need to protect your area, and that's a really good thing to use.
I make my loops quite, quite right. And I want to use, so see one of mine is a little bit shorter. So that's, that's the hard part is trying to figure out where to tie them because that's why my feeder wants to go a little bit unbalanced. And it might be that my stick is a little too long in the back, but you might have to play with that and learn how to balance it. And then when you put the bird seed inside of there, it, it'll help too. But I am sure that the birds will love it. And now you've recycled something to make that bird feeder. So that's even better. Well, I will see you all next month for something new and I hope you've enjoyed them. Thanks.